Hey everybody, Jeff Schaefer here with dataplusscience.com. I ran across a YouTube video from my good friend John Schwabish and he was showing how to make a bracket in uh, PowerPoint. Got me thinking about how I would have done it and um, so I thought I would just post this in response to that. I would insert a shape just like he started with and uh, would create a shape to create my bracket. And once I have that set, I would change the fill to none, no fill, change my shape outline to a higher weight, similar to what John did. The difference is when I get here, I would right click on my point and edit my points. That would allow me to edit the points of my shape. I'm gonna right click again and choose open path. That's gonna break the point, And then I'm gonna right click on that point again and delete it. At that point, I have a bracket that I can make as wide or as narrow as I want. Um, in this case, I can center it. Of course, I can duplicate it and put it to the other side and rotate it upside down and align it to where it is. And now I have my brackets. Um, of course, the other nice thing about this is I could also create a different style bracket. I can insert a rounded bracket, which is a nice touch to this. So if I want a rounded edge on my bracket, I can do the exact same thing. I'm going to set my fill to none, set my outline weight to a thicker weight, right click on my points, edit the point, and then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm gonna to have to pick the point down where before the, uh, the corner, uh, I'm gonna open the path and then I'm gonna delete all those points. So one at a time, I'm just gonna work backwards on my path, right click on it uh, and delete the point. And uh, one more time up at the top and I have a rounded bracket, uh, which is also cool little different than than what John had and um, that's how I would probably make a bracket in um, in PowerPoint so um, I hope that was helpful uh, dataplusscience.com thank you very much